is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below <clears throat> all right overall energy eight of wands it looks like there is forward movement here okay now this could be communication from someone you're looking at a distance from okay it could be online communication but this definitely is forward movement of some sort okay now whether this is you releasing this person and moving forward or uh, this is someone who's wanting to communicate towards you okay in lightning speed we'll find out in the past year you were dealing with the knight of wands in reverse here so definitely dealing with someone who's very in and out of your life Right now, looks like someone's, uh, there is this missed opportunity, okay? A feeling of missed opportunity with a four of cups in reverse here. And what's crossing is the chariot here in reverse here. So someone's having a hard time moving forward here, all right? With the chariot in reverse here. This is like lack of forward movement. Things have come to a complete halt here. On your mind is the nine of swords in reverse here. So there is probably a situation that you've been stressing a lot about, okay? Probably even been in panic mode, having sleepless nights. But you're finally wanting to get out of your head and no longer stressing about this. With the two of wands here, this is what you don't see coming. So there is a decision, there is a decision that is needing to be made, or someone needs to make a choice. All right, yeah. So it looks like there is uh, some kind of communication that is coming in, right? With the near future, we had the Queen of Cups. So yeah, there is a lot of love that you have. You're going to be very emotional in the near future, okay? But it looks like you're going to have to trust your psychic guidance, trust your inner guidance, your gut, your instinct to make a decision, okay? But this is being very, very emotional. Let's see, we'll find out. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Wands here. What is the Eight of Wands here? <clears throat> Clap for the Eight of Wands. Clap for the Eight of Wands. What is this Eight of Wands here? Yeah. So it looks like there's definitely been an ending here, okay? With the world, the High Priestess and the Chariot here. You've been trusting your intuition here, okay? And I feel that you're closing the cycle out here, okay? Because there's a lack of forward movement here. That's exactly what I was picking up. The eight of wands here, it looks like you are closing out a cycle, okay? Because your intuition tells you that the, that you've completed, you've successfully completed something with this person here. And because with the charity here, this looks like a no-go situation to you, okay? Your head and heart are not in balance. Your head and heart are not saying the same thing. But yeah, this is a lack of form and moment here. Things have come to a complete halt out here, okay? But your intuition tells you to shut this chapter once and for all. And with the eight of wands, you're, you're wanting to move forward and move away from this person like really quick, okay? You're in this desperation mode and literally wanting to get out of this um, energy like right now. This is someone wanting to move, get out of a situation very quickly, okay? Because you're just trusting your instinct. <clears throat> What's the Knight of Wands in reverse here? What's the Knight of Wands in reverse here? Yeah. There was a lack of clarity here with the Ace of Swords in reverse here, okay? Which could have created a lot of conflict, okay? Not only do you have the Five of Wands here, but you also have the Five of Wands along with the Five of Swords here. That's a lot of conflict, okay? Two fights, a lot of strife, a lot of conflict, bickering, pettiness. But what happens is that there are small, small petty issues, okay? Where you guys constantly have arguments and fights, which leads to you walking away, okay? Because with Ace of Swords and Reversing, you could be dealing with a liar, a cheater, or someone who just does not give you clarity, okay? So that's what I'm getting here because this person was very in and out of your life and you just know what was going on in the, with this person, okay? So this person used to hold back communication. They used to suppress communication. But I'm getting someone who just never revealed the truth, okay? There was never that breakthrough. Again, I'm getting lack of clarity here, constant... Um, um, uh, you always had to keep thinking about what is really going on in the connection, okay? And there could have been a fight or an argument in the past year where you guys just, you know, all of a sudden got into this huge um, disagreement which led to a serious conflict and led to you to walk away from this person because you were fed up of their mind games, okay? You were fed up of their sabotaging uh, patterns here. This person is someone who likes to win under at any cost, okay? And that's one of the reasons why you constantly had conflicts even if you had something that you wanted to discuss about the relationship, this person just refused to discuss it with you. Okay. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse here. That's why it's a missed opportunity. You're letting something go. What's the Four of Cups in reverse here? 
What's the point of cups and gems? Why is this coming into the current situation? We have the Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in reverse here. Yeah, so now your focus is on your stability, your growth, your security, your financial abundance, okay? You could have been very indecisive in the past year about whether you wanted to continue being with this person or not, whether you want to invest in this person or not, or whether you should move on or still stick on, okay, to this person here. But you finally decided, you've dropped this person here, you're no more indecisive and you're very clear about what you want. And what you want is to be single, you'll be on your own. And with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're making a very practical and grounded decision. For you, your focus is going to be your money, your career goals. But along with that, you are very, very uh, focused on the stability and security. Okay, This is not someone who's only focused on their... Um, materialist aspect but someone also at the same time who's focused on their own growth also okay so yeah you realize your worth and value okay you realize you deserve much more than what this person has to give and uh there's you've made up your mind that's for sure okay you did see a lot of potential with this person you're okay but now you're very clear about what you want why is the chariot in reverse the challenge here <clears throat> Probably there is a lack of form no but there's someone who's just not being able to, the situation is out of control, okay? The challenge here is that someone's not taking control of the situation, okay? See, that's what here, right? For the eight of wands here at the overall energy. Someone's not taking control of the situation and your psychic guidance with the high priestess, your intuition tells you to close the cycle, okay? So because there's someone here who's not making a movement forward and not coming towards you, right? You choose to end a cycle with this person and you're leaving like now, you know? What's the chariot in reverse here? Why is this the blockage or the influence? Tell me about the chariot in reverse. Tell me about the chariot in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse, seven of swords, and the six of swords in reverse. <clears throat> You're constantly see that's what i'm saying if there was a lot of confusion here okay around this person here right okay and you didn't know where you stood in this person's life this person never gave a clarity there could have been a lot of mixed signals from this person could be dealing with a liar or cheater someone very deceptive okay with the seven of swords here this person is very in and out of your life they withhold a lot of information a lot of deception sneaky behavior etc okay because of which you were just not being able to move forward okay so six of swords in reverse this person knows that they need to make a certain move towards you okay they need to come through you okay and break a certain comfort zone okay they need to move towards you but they constantly kept going back to doing the same thing over and over again okay they made the road more difficult than it seems and finally with the seven of cups in reverse here that's what i'm feeling you are the one who's getting a lot of clarity here okay this is why this person probably never made that move towards you because they constantly, whenever it came to something uh, serious or something that you really, really wanted from this person, something that you deserve, this is what I'm getting. This person was constantly in and out, okay? Very unreliable, very insincere, okay? One moment they want you, the next moment they don't, okay? And that just gave you, put you in this dilemma, you know, about what is actually going on. That's what's going on. <clears throat> That's why things are not moving forward. That's why... Um, this lack of forward movement, that determination to make things happen. This person lacks the will, you know, to come towards you in the right way. What's the nine of swords in the verse here on the, what am I reading for? Aquarius. Oh <laughs> shit. Why is the nine of swords in reverse here on Aquarius? Aquarius is not. Nine of Swords in Reverse, <clears throat> clarified by the Nine of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and um, the King of Swords in Reverse. You're definitely cutting out a liar, a manipulator, a cheater, whoever this is, right? But someone, you're, you're definitely cutting out an asshole for sure, okay? You feel the need to pull yourself out of a situation where you've been stressing about this person with worry, anxiety, okay? You've just stopped worrying and that's what you want. You want to get out of this worry zone, okay? You no longer want to focus on them. You don't, you see the light of the end of the tunnel and you want to get out of a place where you can sleep better, okay? You uh, definitely... Um, um, want to be in a place of uh, peace all right and that's what you're choosing to do with the ten of pentacles here your focus is your money your focus is marriage commitment and if you don't get this from this person again and again i'm hearing that's fine you'll get it somewhere else but definitely with the king of swords in reverse here you're cutting someone out 
who was very cold, icy and detached towards you. But I'm getting someone who was very, very manipulative. Very manipulative, okay? When it came to communication. Tell me about the three of, or two of wands here. Why is this the root of the issue? Why is this the reason for the reading? What's the two of wands here? Someone needs to make a decision. That's what you don't see coming. What's the two of wands here? The page of cups. Of course, the emperor. All right. And the devil. Dude, that's something. Okay. All right. You need to make a decision because there is this person here, this cheater, liar, manipulator, deceiver. Uh, they're coming back. All right. They're coming back with an apology with a page of cups here. They want to take control of the situation. But with the devil here, they're bringing a lot of toxicity with them. Now, this can go two ways. Okay. Either this is someone here who's coming in with an apology, but they're going to be faced by you. Okay. With the emperor because you are setting healthy boundaries. Okay, so you're going to have a very logical approach towards this person. You are going to suppress your emotions, no longer having an emotional approach towards this person. And you're going to have to make a choice of whether you want to accept this apology or whether you want to continue and, and get into this toxic behavior, toxic relationship again, or whether you want to set your healthy boundaries and move forward. Okay, that's going to be like the dilemma that you're going to be in. That's why we have the two of wands here. You're going to make them wait for a choice here. What's the Queen of Cups here in the near future? What's the Queen of Cups in the near future? What's the Queen of Cups in the near future? Too many cards, baby. Give me three cards for that. Queen of Cups in reverse, please. No, sorry, Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups. Give me Queen of Cups, please. Why is this in the near future? Wow. Shit. All right. <clears throat> the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Lovers here. You're going to have to make a choice, baby. This is going to be a very difficult choice. With the Lovers here, I like it. Why? Because this is your person. Okay. Yes, the Lovers is to inflame. All right. It is a union. This is where there is a potential here where you guys can come into a union. Okay. But it's... And this person is coming in to communicate, okay? Page of Wands is good news. This is someone who's finding a new approach to come towards you, all right? But with the Eight of Swords here, you're going to be stuck in your head. That's why you're going to have to trust your intuition with the Queen of Cups here. You do have a love love for this person. That's what I keep getting, okay? You're being very emotional here in the near future because they're finally coming back, right, towards you. And with the lovers, you, this person wants a reunion with you, okay? They love you. Again, I'm getting, they do love you, right? But sometimes it's just that some people are in love, okay? They love you to the core. You, they will do anything for you when it comes to giving you that emotional fulfillment. But when it comes to you getting them tied down to a commitment or wanting to label a relationship, wanting to be exclusive, it just scares some people, okay? And the Knight of Wands in reverse, when they're in the upright, they kind of contemplate the idea of a commitment. But when they're in the reverse, they're convinced that commitment is not, it is not the thing for them, okay? So I think it's because of your past experiences that you're stuck in the Eight of Swords in the near future, okay? So babe, there is an opportunity here of you wanting to come into a reunion with this person, okay? They love you. They want you. They choose you, all right? They definitely have awakened to this connection of the strong soulmate connection that they have with you. And there is going to be communication coming in. Eight of Swords, you're going to have to make a choice here, okay? Whatever choice you make, babes, see to it that it's a very, um, it, it's, I'm not asking you to uh, make a, a choice just using your head, okay? But try and make a choice that you know is the best for your higher self, okay? The lovers also ask about choices, but choices that are more logistic, okay? Choices that are made uh, better for the long term, better for your higher self, something that gets you aligned, okay? So they are coming in with alignment with you. Now, it's going to be up to you of whether with the Eight of Swords, you're, you want to be stuck and not make a decision because Eight of Swords is all about fear, okay? In real Probably this person is genuinely coming back to you, okay, with a lot of love and they want to take control of the situation. Because like I said, right, with the devil, the page of cups, right, I said this can go two ways. The decision has to be made because they could be someone who's apologizing to you, wanting to start, restart this love with you, okay, a connection with you. They're taking control of the situation, finally bossing up because they're obsessed with you, all right, obsessed with you. There's a lot of obsession here, which turns into something toxic. They cannot let you go. That's when the near future here, this is what's the this is what the problem is. You'll have to make a choice. The lovers' choices, right? Making a very um 
head of a hard decision so don't don't uh, let me tell you what your decision is okay but with the queen of cups here you probably could have water somewhere in your bird chart all right but with the queen of cups here do what you love all right I'm just a little torn apart out here, okay, because I don't know what to advise you, but do what you love, all right, because you do have a lot of love here. Probably this is also someone who loves you with the Queen of Cups here, okay, but I still see them as a page out here. I do. I feel you're the Queen of Cups here. I do. You want to cut them out, okay? You definitely are focused on your stability and commitment. Agreed. You've made a very, very short decision that you don't want to move forward with them. But when they come in with a certain kind of energy towards you, with a certain vibration towards you, I feel you're going to be forced to make a decision, okay? And you'll have to. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you, Aquarius. Uh, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.